All right, what is up, you guys? As always, welcome back to another OU battle. We just truly the Skyrender, and today we're going to up against Evan. And um, yeah, I'm excited. This rain team has been kind of fun. A lot of people have just disconnected out of team preview, and this looks to be a team that could struggle versus me. Um, that said, I shouldn't take anything for granted because I see one thing that I feel is very troublesome. And that is Togekiss and potentially a Shell Smash variant of um, um, of Blastoise. So I think my easiest lead here is leading off with um, Tequila or Don Quilio, uh, Julio. Because if Crocodile is his lead, I think I pressure that. And if Arcanine is his lead, I pressure that one too. And if um, Lycan Rock is his lead, then oh, wow, I gotta get out. <laughs> But overall, I think I'm doing good. Uh, I feel I bait Pelipper, as always, to kind of be my lead. So my hopes here is to kind of gauge that. And I think that's why Lycan Rock could be a potential lead because just a pressure Pelipper. And uh, we'll see. Leaves off with Blastoise. Like I said, this was probably, the way I saw it, a way to pressure my opponent of making a call. And uh, if this is a Shell Smash variant, then I'll say it's pressure me. So, Giga Drain, just to pressure him, like I said, <laughs> there is Shell Smash, there is really nothing to it. That's a nasty, nasty boy. And yeah, I think it could be White Herb, right? Yeah, there I go. So double the speed on this man. And we do really good damage. Now, that said, um, all of his moves can do a whole lot of damage onto me. Oh, he Dynamax. He he saw the team preview and felt, fuck it, you going down, boy. Um, his best move, I think, is Dark Pulse. Or Ice Beam. Oh, it's the, it's the GMAS Blastoise. That's cool. That's way cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Let's see, his move of choice, Max Hailstorm. We should be able to take this, I think. Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. Not that I enjoyed it, but we're good. Um, it's all right. Um, that was actually rather aggressive, right? That was rather aggressive, for sure. By the way, this set is actually with an expert belt, but I realized that using something like a Soul Fist on this particular Lucar or Lucolo set is probably better. And for this matchup, it absolutely would have been. Oh, Tauros, your body slamming son of a bitch, but yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> right, I got a sending Quack Mail you stop to hail. Um, what do Tauros do? What do Tauros do? I'll probably body slam all him. It's such an easy, like, a close combat. That's aggressive, man. That's aggressive. Um, let's see, is it life orb? Wanna see life orb? Wanna see that HP ball moving down? It's not. Huh. That's interesting. If I were him, I wouldn't close combat again, though, right? That, that would be crazy. <laughs> if I were in my body slam or switch out. Either way is dangerous. Um, I think I can take close combat, but don't want to take it. Double edge. This is... Is it white herb? Or normally normal gem, I mean. Um, yeah. That's cool. I'll say it's the... It's a great set. But it's not the set to use. Like, there are way better variants of Tauros. Um, like, the Life Orb Body Slam set is just way better. So I'm very surprised to see that go in. That said though, I like it. I think that's a very, very cool idea. And White Orb Double Edge, come on, that's really scary. All right, Arcanine. You hate to see it. Um, my play here is rather easy. You're gonna die, boy. Gonna die. 
You know what I am. I'm a motherfucking Dreadnought. Get out of here, boy. So I think I'm range of Exelarok. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I've got my recall. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, we're good. Uh, I'm going to you. I think Togekiss comes in. Crocodile. Yeah, that's better. That's way better. <sighs> Question is Hydro Pump for guarantee KO or Giga Drain to get some recovery? Nah, you know, we, we, we didn't come into this game to kind of chicken out. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Could be Sash though. No, it's not. Ah, I swear, like, everybody's talking about how. How broken Kingdra is, and Lodicol has just been that blessing in disguise, just just a massive giver. <laughs> so, alright, um, Accelerate makes sense, and close combat probably kills me, but uh, at this point, I'm, I'm trying to get myself into a position. Let's see, the play here is Accelerate, there we go. It's resisted. See the leftovers? I am a bulky zone, buddy. You better count your blessings. Much more left anyway. Toe kiss. Oh yeah, flash counter is to play. Um, I could iron defense here, but it's quite frail. I don't think close combat puts me in iron head. Not close combat. Hey, he got the flinch. What a what a beast. <laughs> hmm. I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised about that. Not seeing close combat, that's actually kind of kind of up there. How many flinches can I get? Only one. But but that's enough, all right? I'm gonna punch you. All right, now Tokyo's is left. Now Tokyo's can air slash annoy me if he wants to, and um, that's not annoying at all. Uh, he can't paralyze me with Thunder Wave, which is great. You can also just go with Fire Blast or the Flamethrower is what they carry. So depending on his set, he could be annoying. But um, I think consider how legit this team has been with all the Shinies. Um, I'm just going to go right on at it. Yeah, there's a Flamethrower. Right, cool. We're not going to take this well, by the way. Uh, yeah, mm, nice. And this is a Mana Pool. This Flash Gun is not going to kill. No way, Jose. Oh, we got the special defense drop on you, buddy. You know what that means? That it's a weakness policy set. That that makes sense. Um, now that could be that could be annoying. That is not good, actually. Um, <laughs> so I don't want to see. At, at least he never dynamaxed. Like that's the positive note I'm gonna take from this. The weakness policy, that's um, that's nasty. That's real nasty, actually. I'm I'm kind of scared and surprised at the same time. Um, all right, Air Slash should take us out. But for good measures, I think he could Tailwind up. There's a Air Slash and uh, down goes the Pelipper. And I'm gonna just send in the most worthy Worthy man and beast that has just provided not only love but respect to rain teams in Lodicolo. And since he started the game with Dynamax, and I'm gonna end it with a Dynamax. And um, maximum power or just hail. Ah, I want maximum power. I want my Don Julio to really, really showcase that. He is not to be meddled with. And you, my opponent, Evan, you'll know true pain in this magnificent, magnificent pineapple duck. I'm pretty sure, by the way, that the, the top of his head is an agave fruit, which is the fruit you or flower you use to make tequila. In my head, this is a walking tequila. So, Toki is gone, and this rain team just keeps on giving. Now, to my opponent, really GG, I think you pressured me really well, and that lead way with Blastoise, phenomenal. Um, I mean, 
consider it that he would have taken me out with Blastoise, I'm not sure I would have been able to um, to gauge that back at all, actually. I think I would have been screwed by default, but um, we didn't get there, and uh, I'm happy for that, because that would have been just all kinds of weird. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Ludicolo is shown to be a very, very, very ferocious Pokémon for most of the matchups I've had so far, and I have so many DCs. Uh, either team preview, so I'm happy for the guys who stays around and actually battle me. You, you figure all the players I met on Reddit, you know, with all the Ubers and whatnot, that uh, the, the the arrogance or rather the competence that they always have, and they're they're not sure when you see a team like this. And I do enjoy using overpowered teams with a clear synergy, but I also recognize that um, if done right, I can get very very short battles or potential DCs because they think I'm overdoing it and to an extent I agree <laughs> but yeah anyway as always guys thank you for of course as always watching and um, we'll have a great day everyone take care